the voice, but when he died, he left his pain with me. J Mon O T and he the same, he was the same as me. Hey, what's up, what's happening? BKA, we back in this thing. K2 good is sleep with a cutter up a throne, you know the big dog. <sighs> he want a ton. We here to talk, we here to talk, we here to talk. Now. Now, now, now. We have um what's Brody name? Uh the, the person in charge. Well, not in charge. I'm so stupid. But basically one of the people involved with the passing of XXX Tentacion. Um he argues he's not an evil person. Listen. We might just have to have an overall discussion about this topic. I'm gonna read the article and I'm gonna save my thoughts for the end. And and we'll have a discussion about it. Cause it's like we we it's something we just gotta talk about again. We just, we just gotta talk about X X X Tentacion's killer says he's not sorry. Um X is uh one of them at least involved in his passing michael boat right recently spoke out in a statement on his social media pages as caught by dj academics bro right is currently behind bars after a judge sentenced him to two consecutive life sentences without the possibility of parole plus another 30 years for other charges last year in his post bro right wrote y'all just judge me off of one thing y'all y'all know about me wait y'all know about me but y'all don't even know the truth behind all this i'm not this evil person that everybody think i am and nobody even uh know me as a person y'all believe in everything you see on social media i'm not sorry for nothing i did it's still free hey listen this is the same thing i heard from this nigga straight drop you, you hey you got locked up you said whatever and now you i wouldn't say you copy your pleas but you, you just don't happy with your situation big dog if you can't do the crime, don't do the time. Let's face it, y'all was trying to come up off a lick. And now you got caught up and you got two life sentences. You crying over this shit. Ain't no wah, 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 bitch, I'm low, baby. Nah, big dog. Who's acting? Listen. I don't care how old you is. Listen, unless it's for self-defense, you should not be trying to take nobody's life, urban. So, you know what? Let me keep reading. Let me keep reading. Because, yeah, I, I, I'm going to go like Negro spiritual on you. Let me just keep reading. When DJ Academy shared this post on X from the Twitter, fans had plenty to say about this statement. I wonder what he means by the truth behind all this. Are we missing something? One user asked. Another replied, him not being remorseful publicly is going to keep him, uh, keep him from getting paroles. Other users joked about the unfound rumors Drake was allegedly involved in X Tentacion's passing. The moiterer is here taking responsibility every time, but they still find a way to blame Drake for X's murder. That was crazy. If you did pay attention to the cold case that was going with the X, XXX Tentacion thing, you, as we do know, um, Drake and Mr. Tentacion, they wasn't on the coolest of terms when, before he passed. So there was a little stuff. So, and then he dropped that song. What was it? Um, Daylight. Shot him in daylight. Hey. I'm too complex. They're making me vex. Whole lot of gold that I wear on my neck. Nah, that shit hard. I don't give a fuck. That's all hard. I ain't gonna lie. That shit hard. But besides <laughs> that, um, basically, Drake was making references like he caught a body. CP24 think I caught the body. Yada, yada, yada. So, motherfuckers was thinking he was talking about XX and Stetacion. He put money on Brody head. And they want to go do what they're going to do. I'm not going to put that on Drake. I don't think that happened. But the fact that, yo, that just caught so much attention for being a rumor or a percept perception somebody had to the point they tried to subpoena drake to court like bro come on y'all niggas was doing a little bit too much in my opinion nah y'all was doing a little too much sorry yo my phone be acting stupid as hell from time to time um yeah, it's not the first time michael bro right has made headlines for his antics on social media earlier this year he's faced backlash for reposting a cute video of excess yo that's insane you can't be doing that you took that boy's father away from him and you reposting his son? That is insane. You can't be doing that, big dog. I don't give a fuck if you remorseful or not. You can't be doing that. That is insane. But, like, yeah, like I was saying, right? Big dog. Y'all was trying to catch a play. Y'all was hungry. I'm assuming y'all was hungry. Y'all was some wolves. Y'all haven't been fed. Y'all was hyenas. Y'all haven't been fed. So, y'all was over here. Need some money in your pocket. Cool. Hey, y'all did what y'all did. I'm not condoning it, but hey, 
If you from the blocks, you from the hood, you know how that shit go. Again, I don't want nobody to lose his life, especially X. X, Tentacion, look like a troubled soul to me. And the reason why I feel power in his story a lot is because, like, I just seen him and he was just trying to figure it out like everybody else in life. But we just depicted it. I liked that he wasn't perfect. A lot of the time we see all these celebrity motherfuckers and they're perfect, they're pristine, they look the best, whatever. They have their little fucking image problems to the point they go get plastic surgery because they don't want to be fat or have a fupa. You know, my homegirls be telling me that's a real thing. But anyways, um, so the fact, like, again, I'm not saying he was the best celebrity or he was the best role model. But I, I did, and the things against him that he did not get found guilty for, but were against him. We don't know exactly what happened. You might believe he did hit that girl. You might believe he didn't. But I will say this. I did appreciate he understood his wrongdoings and he tried to be better it never seemed like it was a publicity stunt like half of these fucking celebrities be doing this shit he just came off very authentic and real just finding his way looking for a purpose to be fair with this even though he had his music career even though he had the fame and the money it didn't look like he was happy he was trying to figure out his life and a lot of that, I do feel like if you listen to his album 17 and he has the song about uh, Jocelyn uh, Flores, I believe that was the name of the song, right? About uh, the girl he knew that took her life. Like some of that shit weighs upon you. A lot of the time we sit here and we're sad that this person has died. A lot of the time you don't know when that individual dies, what it will do to the people that is still here. A lot of the time we don't really think about that or we'll focus on it. It hurts. Especially the way you go as well. It hurts. So again, like... But back to bro. I ain't here to spend time on X's story. But R.I.P. X while I'm at it. Shout out baby Get You. You know, he's living his life. You know what I'm saying? Get You may get to have his daddy teach him any life lessons. His dad hold him in his arms. His dad... Like, instill anything in him. He's gonna learn. He's gonna see how his dad was. He's gonna learn. And the striking image to his father is crazy. But you took that man's, sorry, you took that boy's, that he will eventually become a man, but you took his father away from him for your own personal gain, whether it was monetarily, popularity, respect, whatever the fuck it was, I believe it was monetarily. You took him away from that. Now, yes, if we believe the reports, X didn't want to give up his shit, but it makes sense. You work hard for that. Why are you trying to give up your shit? It is what it is. Sadly, it didn't end out the best way for X. He did pass away. But you can't sit here, right? Again, there's more to your story, nigga. I don't know you from nowhere. But you can't sit here like, motherfuckers is thinking of me as a... Sorry. People is thinking of me as an evil person and I'm not evil. Y'all don't know me. Yes, we don't know you, sir. Because the big headline above your head is you took or you were part of the group that took the life of this superstar. In my opinion, bro... I'm not the only one that probably thinks this. XXX Tentacion, he would have been out of here, bro. Um, if he stayed alive, bro, he would have been out of here. Fucking legend. I'm telling you. Him, Pop Smoke, there's certain motherfuckers I feel like at the time of their rise, bro, if they were still here and they didn't pass away, bro, mega star. You took that man from his family, his kids, baby mama. You took his ass. It's insane. It's insane, my nigga. Like, yeah, we don't know your whole story. Do we really need to know your whole story by nigga? You took somebody's life. I'm not saying everybody that took somebody's life is evil. But you was there for nefarious purposes. This wasn't no self-defense. This wasn't a person trying to hurt your loved one and you retaliated. This wasn't that. This was for your own twisted, what's it called? purposes where there was money where there was respect whether you wanted to rob his jewelry or whatever he had there wasn't no good deed behind this shit it was some fuck nigga shit that's what it was so excuse me and excuse other motherfuckers for sitting here and demonizing you yeah your mama still love you i hope your mama still love you i hope your brother still love you but shit, that's about it. You took somebody that a lot of people didn't care about. You seen what happened to Eric Holder? 
when he did what he did to Nipsey, they shot up Brody house. They were shooting his brother. He, they were shooting his siblings. They ain't did shit. But you took somebody that was really loved. And I'm not condoning violence in that situation either. Them people ain't had nothing to do with it. But a lot of this time, and I say this a lot of these times when we talk about these people sliding on other peoples and all this other show. We talk about Adolf's people spinning in memory of young Dolph or whatever. A lot of this shit is hurting emotion. These news outlets or whatever be demonizing niggas, which you is right. They demonize niggas, call uh, motherfuckers killer drones. No, it's off emotion because you took my man. You took a motherfucker like I really had love for, I cared about. And that's why. You took somebody's life that somebody really cared for. Shit, a lot of people cared for. X's audience is different. It's like a cult following. I say it all the time. It's different, my G. So sure. I never came up with you, Mr. Uh, Boatwright. I don't know you from nowhere. And maybe you was trying to get that money to hold down your people's fair. I get it. You do bad to do good. I know that a lot. Trust me. I know that a lot. But we ain't going to sit here and say that no nigga should demonize you. No, you took, you took somebody from from people who cared about him. Bro, you, you was on some bullshit, nigga. If you ain't going to do the crime, don't do the time. You me? When you play that game, you might end up dead or you it might end up in jail. And I'm pretty sure your people's over there, they thinking the Lord that your ass ain't six feet under in a cage before your time. But sadly, the rest of your time, you're going to be locked in the cage. 23 to 1, ain't no 20 v 1. You ain't talking no IG baddies in there or nothing. You just locked up and that's it. And that might be the end of your time and your story. And hopefully from this example... Some other motherfuckers or even peoples in your family. If you got nieces and nephews, they don't follow that same path. That's really all I got to say, man. Shit. If you agree with anything I said, like, subscribe, comments down below. RPX, I'm gone. Shlamzoom, peace, y'all's gang. Aye.